interesting session to start with. Welcome to Amazon Internet Services presents to you Economic Times Global Digital League 2.0 powered by Kindred. So what's next? I'm sure you are waiting to know what's more this afternoon. So yes, let's get ready to GCCs in India serving the world with AWS. Please welcome our speaker for the same uh, Head Global Enterprises India AISPL, the one and only Chandra Balani with us right now. Hi, my name is Chandra Balani. I'm with uh, Amazon Internet Services Private Limited, um, AWS, managing the global enterprise business. Um, I, I have about 23 years of experience in the IT industry. And uh, with AWS, um, I'll be completing eight years this month. Um, in my initial role, I was doing the geo expansion for AWS in India, um, uh, based in Hyderabad. So expanded business in Hyderabad, uh, Kolkata, Pune, uh, Gujarat, um, SAC countries, Bangladesh and Nepal as well. And from the last year and a half, uh, I run the global enterprise business uh, in India. So today's topic, um, uh, GCCs in India serving the world with AWS. Um, and before I get to that, um, I just wanted to share a high level Amazon mission. Uh, at Amazon, um, we strive to be Earth's most customer centric company. Um, uh, you know, we work backwards from our customer needs and uh, innovate on, on their behalf. Uh, our, um, our goal is to uh, delight our customers. Um, um, you know, we believe that uh, customers are always beautifully and wonderfully dissatisfied. Uh, so we work with um, our customers and work backwards from, from their changing needs and um, uh, innovate on their behalf, right? Uh, having, um, uh, staying close to our customers um, help us uh, understand their needs uh, changing from time to time and then um, be able to um, bring in that agility um, to ensure that our, our customers are delighted um, uh, with, uh, with AWS and Amazon, right? And uh, if I may give an example, um, you know, of, um, uh, of, uh, of Lambda, which is a serverless service, uh, no customer actually asked us um, for Lambda as a service or serverless as a service. We have EC2, which is our compute service, and um, you know our customers called out that they need a, uh, a scalable EC2. They need uh, something which is uh, faster, something which is cheaper. And reading between the lines, we we came out with serverless um, uh, with Lambda, which is a serverless compute service, right? Which checks marks on all of them. On the same lines, um, um, you know my personal story as I was um, uh, working on the geo expansion territory uh, for the first six years that um, you know I was with AWS. I am with AWS. Um, uh, I was covering the territories of Hyderabad and Pune, especially, and um, uh, these territories have a lot of global customers, right? And as I was engaging with them, um, uh, you know, our AWS business model was that uh, these customers were. Uh, being supported by our um, global, um, you know, counterparts uh, sitting in the headquarters. Uh, but as I as I engage with them, uh, I learned that the these customers are setting up large technology teams in India. They're driving uh, innovations from India. They are um, they are working on cloud. Cloud as a benefit of you know you can work from anywhere. Uh, uh, folks were. Uh, experimenting, um, you know, how they can bring in innovation in their business. And during these interactions, right, a lot of customers, um, um, you know, ask for support um, uh, uh, for them in India, right? Um, so I called that out uh, in our leadership team that uh, this is something we should address uh, as a gap in our uh, way we manage uh, our customers. And um, in a typical Amazonian way, I, I wrote a narrative. That's what we do at Amazon for, for doing uh, anything new, at least. Um, uh, so I wrote a narrative on uh, the fact that we should create a, a team which is dedicated on, um, on global enterprise uh, customers in India, right? Uh, so this will be um, a team which will work closely with our global counterparts, but um, with an objective to delight our global customers in India. Right, help them uh, drive innovation, um, help their technology team 
be successful um you know from india right uh, so that's what we did and um once the narrative got approved, uh, we created this team um, from uh, January 2020. Uh, so last um, couple of years, uh, you know, we've been uh, we've been um, uh, working very closely with our global customers and um, ensuring that uh, they are getting all the support from AWS in India in their time zone um, and driving innovations, um, technology-driven innovations, uh, and being successful in their in their uh, global organizations, right? And if I have to give you some um, reference customers, um, um, you know, if you look at uh, BMW, if you look at uh, GE Healthcare, they are building their uh, data lake on AWS to unlock the power of data, right? Novartis um, is transforming their entire um, supply chain and manufacturing and, and core operations on, on AWS. Uh, if you look at uh, Goldman Sachs, uh, Goldman Sachs is um, is using AWS to enhance how they help their clients achieve financial their financial goals. They are running their transaction banking platform on on AWS. Adobe is running their um, uh, software applications on on AWS. Um, you know, uh, deploying and uh, and running on AWS instead of um, focusing on uh, on infrastructure, which is not their differentiator. Uh, you look at uh, carrier. Carrier is uh, transforming how food and pharmaceuticals are shipped, preserved, and uh, protected. Carrier is also uh, fueling their product development on AWS. They are reducing um, time for development. They are reducing their infrastructure cost by almost 45-50%. Um, Volkswagen is building their entire industrial cloud on AWS. Um, uh, so different use cases um, uh, on AWS and apart from uh, AWS, one more thing that is common in all of these is that um, all of these customers have a huge um, India team uh, driving uh, technology-led innovations and, um, and we are supporting them um, in India along with their, um, with their headquarter team, right? Uh, and uh, let's learn how a little good, you know, a deeper, uh, how exactly are we helping them? Uh, so we've created um, these programs um, in four buckets, um, enablement um, and ensuring that the team, um, you know, learn all those skills, uh, migration and modernization so that uh, they can bring in agility in their business, uh, innovation uh, to drive their business um, uh, with the changing market needs and, and, and help their customers. And then some of the best practices that we um, we have at AWS to ensure that um, they are uh, using all our services right, right? Um, let's go deeper, um, um, one level deeper in each of these areas. So when it comes to enablement, we run um, things like immersion days, dev days, wherein we dive deeper along with hands-on workshops for the team members so that um, they know how to use each of these services um, well and are able to... <clears throat> um you know use them in their uh, architecture based on the workloads that they are running we have some fun formats like um game days and deep racer um or, you know deep racer is for uh, machine learning uh, learning uh, services on a on a racing format um we have our trading and certification team who can do uh, learning needs analysis and based on that create a program um, for for uh, enabling and, and skilling your team. Uh, we also have programs like Cloud Fluency and Skills Guild, where we ensure that um, the entire organization, right from uh, the CEO to the to the developer at, at multiple levels, all have a Cloud Fluency and understand um, uh, the level of cloud that they need to know as per their roles, right? Um, when it comes to migration and modernization, I think the core piece here is um, once you move to cloud, uh, it brings in that agility in your business, the speed with which you can react to changing market, changing market conditions or changing customer needs, the cycles that you can go uh, while you're on cloud is much faster. Uh, to do that, um, we help and, and we have our teams from, you know, programs around migration, acceleration, um, we call it MAP, Migration Acceleration Program. 
and it's available for multiple workloads like SAP or you have map for Windows, VMware, for storage, for contact centers, for analytics, even mainframes and, and we have program for database freedom, uh, freedom from commercial databases and even to an extent of a complete data center exit, right? Uh, and under this program, um, we help you do the uh, readiness assessment. We help you doing a TCO calculation. Uh, we help you prepare the business case and then um, help you in actual execution of the migration itself. Um, we can bring in our partner ecosystem who can help you do that. Uh, we have our own professional services team in India who can execute uh, some of these projects for you. Uh, we have um, data labs team for anything with respect to data, be it um, uh, data transfer, be it database choice um, and going deeper, um, you know, data labs team can come in. We have a team of, uh, for um, optimization and license assessment. So for, for some of the licenses that you might be running uh, and using uh, on AWS cloud for Microsoft or, or Oracle, our team can help you in um, ensuring that uh, you're optimizing them and um, uh, you're making the most of your uh, spend. Um, so uh, idea is that this team um, that uh, come in um, and ensures that um, we are taking you in your migration journey very, very smoothly. Uh, and in addition to your own team, uh, we can bring in the required resources uh, who can assist you in this migration and modernization journey, right? Um, Third track is on innovation uh, and a lot of uh, customers uh, come and tell us that um, Amazon innovates uh, uh, at a really fast pace and um, um, and ask us uh, what is the secret sauce behind that and um, we've created a, a program we call it Amazon culture of innovation uh, session which we um, uh, which we share it with our customers as a as a customer centric organization, we want our customers to be successful as well. Uh, and uh, um, this is like a like a 90 minute session for the for the for our customers leadership team uh, to understand how does Amazon innovate. Um, we have our uh, some of our uh, mechanisms like uh, PR FAQ press release and, and, and frequently asked questions document that we prepare. Um, uh, and which is what we do um, in the digital innovations workshop uh, for your team, for your idea. Uh, we help you crystallize some of those ideas using our um, our methods if you are interested. And not just that, uh, once you have the idea crystallized uh, using a PR FAQ approach, um, we help you in uh, building prototypes. Um, uh, if the ideas are related to machine learning, we have ML labs that can come and assist. And of course, our professional services team can assist in execution of the complete project itself um, um, and take it to a launch stage. Uh, apart from that, uh, uh, Amazon uses AWS um, underneath as well. Uh, and uh, we have created tracks where we talk a little, little more detail on how does um, Amazon use AWS in supply chain, in, in fulfillment centers, how do we use machine learning at Amazon, how did we migrate away from Oracle database uh, completely as an organization? We shared some of the uh, best practices um, uh, under this program with our customers. Um, we also have a program uh, called Enterprise and Startup Connect, Enterprise ISV Connect, um, where, um, you know, it's the build versus buy. So is there any uh, solutions that you want to pick up, um, you know, from our partners, from our startups and, and ISVs? you can uh, utilize them and we can make the connects with you so you can leverage them. And apart from that, we also have an AWS marketplace where um, you can you can use even our, um, uh, our partner softwares in a pay-as-you-go model along with the AWS infrastructure. <clears throat> the fourth uh, category is our best practices. So this is where we um, uh, use some of our programs like well-architected review. Uh, where our solution architects uh, come and um, assess that for you for the workloads that you're running on AWS or you're planning to bring on AWS. We look at um, operational excellence, security, reliability, uh, compliance, um, performance management, and even cost optimization, right? Um, I think this is one of the customer obsessed things that we do at AWS to ensure that 
our customers are uh, even cost optimized and using um, AWS effectively. Uh, and from a technical side, um, uh, we work backwards from our customer needs. So if there are any features within these services that we uh, run uh, uh, that you use or new services altogether, um, you know, we can connect you with our service teams. Um, we have this program called PFR, uh, Product Feature Request. We take those requests and that's how we build our roadmap at AWS. At any given point of time, our, um, our various teams are prioritizing some of these PFRs and uh, working in terms of, um, you know, the, the requirements that have come from our um, customers. Right, so this, uh, um, uh, you know, I can go on and on, uh, but each of these um, areas, um, you know, we can go deeper and and spend a lot more time um, based on um, based on our customers' interest. But um, this is uh, this is how we uh, ensure that our customers are um, making the most of AWS, and um, and and we ensure that we are helping them uh, in being successful. Uh, from India, right? With that, I come to a close. Um, you know, I can be reached at uh, Balani C at Amazon.com. Um, this is Chandra Balani signing off. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chandra Balani. Indeed, very, very interesting and thoughtful about what you spoke in India, serving the world with AWS. All right, so let's get on to the next session and see what is coming up next well a very special address up next is wfx a sustainable solution for gccs thought well all the answers in some time